All right, we're about to watch one of the members of the CC Thesis Discord. They got second place in one of the games today in round three of FNCS. We're going to see how they got second place and how they could have won the game. So let's get into it. So what I did is I posted an announcement in the Discord saying, I need somebody for this tonight. They're already waiting for me. All I got to do is drag them in. I've got the replay. Yeah, we're going to get right into it. Okay, let me, let me launch my screen share here. All right. And we'll get into it. Uh, okay. Where'd you guys land? Um, It's like at the top of the map. It's some like we're playing shambles live, like above lavish. Yeah, above like lavish, and right. it's like the left of classy. You know? Okay, right here. Perfect. Yeah, right here. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we got our loot cut off. We usually get to the island. <clears throat> yeah, this happens like a lot. We always get our loot path cut off. Okay. I mean, this is uh, this is, this is the uh, benefit, and uh, or this is the, the the strength and weakness of landing at a spot like this. Is like you could have this all this loot, or you could just have one piece of loot. Yeah. So I'm excited to see how you guys make a recovery here, because this is going to be very important. We're not we always on us. We switch our spot. We're going green, really sure. Yeah, that's yeah good. we always we always rotate over to here for like meadow and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like I mean, the, right. the, the fact that you guys have something built here for when you do go Grand Glacier, if things don't go as, as planned, you guys, you can always come back here. This is a very safe secondary option, you know, so. Yeah. We know, like, a lot of the people, though, but there's, like, there's, like, there's supposed to be six teams landing here in finals, which yeah. is a problem. Yeah. yeah. That's why we're not going there. Yeah, we just get cap metal and everything. Pretty chill. I would um just just island classy, right? So I always look at this spot. I would always yeah. just if you can just just scout a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't look like you're looking. You look like like you're looking here technically. Like you're looking north, but you're not like actually like taking a second to like jump around and be like, okay, no one's no one's crouching on us. Is this uh, like like I said, I've I've done this a lot to people. I've seen it happen to people. Like, this is a very easy jump on you spot. Get a refresh. Yep. Everyone likes to. Everyone in this lobby would prefer to play their game out with two to two to four kills, or like you know mm -hmm. just two. So this team, let's imagine this team's fully uncon. I know that they rebooted. Obviously, you heard it, but yeah, like they're gonna want to get those two kills before they, you know, potentially play a game and get zero points. No one wants that. This is good though. Now you're capped. Did we go over to pad this game? Yeah. Yeah. This um, I mean, dude, the zone definitely played. A little in your favor to not be like a max pull, but of course, like no zone is really a max pull in the first zone. But dude, to be yeah. completely, completely honest with you, this is not a bad route. What you guys did, I know this is like not what your preferred thing was, but I mean, you guys had a base spot, so you landed, you lived, then you mm -hmm. worked here, and like you, yeah, I mean, you played pretty, pretty solidly. Like, I mean, you're very, very stacked right now, like not guns wise, but your mats are great, which is like you get a cash, and your guns are back to like wh whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? Guns yeah, are, what, yeah, we always we get go up to the we go up to this pad up here, and we always pad in our cash. Yeah, that's that perfect. Guns are also just not as important in these stack lobbies. You don't need all gold guns and, you know, double yeah, green sure. drum shotty is just good enough. Yeah, we just hit the, we flow berry pad to our cash. A lot. Yeah, that's good. All right, we tried to kill this team here, but we gave it up. I thought it was a solo. Oh man, almost. Yeah, we just gave it up. It's not worth it. No, I think it's fine. Works out. Just vibing out. You guys need that cash for sure. Yeah. Did we get a cash? Did we even get it? I don't remember. I don't remember. I think we did. We get it most games, so. Oh no, we like sat in this bush for like a long time. We just sat in this area. Oh yeah, we we didn't get our cash actually. Yeah, no, we got it stolen. Then we sat here for like a really long time. Ah, that's pretty chill. I mean. Yeah, we ended up putting like a lot of zones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Okay. I mean, not not a not a bad rotate <clears throat> at all. Like, definitely, definitely pretty chill. I, I like sometimes you just can't get your cash. Oh, sometimes you can't get your cash, and that's just that's just what happens. Like, we played dead side really good this game. <clears throat> I would say one thing when you're running these bushes, just pump them real quick. Like, always pump them. Yeah, bush. I saw that on I saw that in one of your videos. Yeah, always pump a bush. Like, there's like it, I don't know if you guys look back at this and say it. there's probably like if 
Like, there's mm-hmm. very high a chance of to be a team right here. Yeah, like, we, normally, we normally we normally do. And especially since there's a team push. here, like if I if I was this team, I'm one here and I'm one in this bush and I'm holding this entire ridge line right here. Yeah, um, we're waiting for them. that. Was our cash right there? We we're just gonna sit in the bush and wait for him to leave. But I, I didn't want to make noise. I wanted to just start again there like quietly, so the guy wouldn't expect me to be there. I'm trying to me like rotate. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's there's like a there's a line to play. Like if you're like, okay, we we kind of have to play, but. At a certain point, also, there's some bushes that are, like, kind of prime bushes. And I feel like these are honestly prime bushes. Like, they're on a hill. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, there's really some bushes good. where you don't have to pump. Like, imagine there's a bush down in the valley. Like, I think there's one over here somewhere. I don't know. Imagine there's a bush, like, right here. Like, this isn't, like, if they're in this bush, you're just unlucky. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, there's prime bushes and there's there's mid bushes. And um, this is definitely a valuable, like, this bush right here is pretty, it's pretty mid. Like, Versus the one you guys are in, so I would definitely have pumped this one, but you never, you never want that to be the way you died. Cause that would have been a 13 minute game gone. You would have wasted uh, yeah. 13. You would have wasted 20 minutes in queue times right here. You would have lost one whole half hour. Yeah, I mean, I feel like next next thing you essentially pull zone here. How can you guys secure a rift? Like that is that's got to be your next your next point here. Like oh uh, yeah, I know you're not stacked, but. You know this. You know this island's gonna be in the next zone, or should be in the next zone. Also, this next zone is when it bounces. I don't know if you know that of like yeah, zones. Yeah, we do. This yeah, is when, like it, this is when it's gonna zone. pull like all the way fencing or all the way to you, or it's gonna like it's gonna be yeah. no not fun. So I would I would instantly be I'd break <laughs> I'd break this bush, farm the wood I can get, slide down the hill, maybe check gas for gold, like or check for you know big pots or whatever. Yeah, and then I'd, I'd I would that. go I'd go get on either this bush or I'd put a, I'd box here, you know, close off the rift, and I'd sit in this bush like. Um, but yeah. no, you need, the rift is going to be a bailout for sure. And if you don't get a rift, like you're, you're, it's, it's over. Cause you're already so shambles. Like you could make it like you, if the zone pulled fencing, you could rotate, but you're going to just be super low after that. You could also have one person just sit in the bush and one person goes to find a rift. It's not like that's that far. Like, I, mean, I know the island's looking at you, but if you can find a way to not, you know, pick a timing, find a timing. So now zone pulls, you guys don't have that rift secured, but you do have the dead side, which is great. Yeah. So I think great great thing just just um you know validating your your decision here is to go fairly quick. You didn't go last second like you do. It is a far pull and you you did take advantage of being on the dead side. I know you got fried there, but just be confident and hold your wood out. There you go. Bought a big. Do your thing. Keep rotating dead side. That's exactly what you want to do. Go all the way to the north here. I mean, it worked out, but imagine, just imagine if the zone pulled south. Yeah, we definitely should have been on a rift. Yeah, 100%. You secure the rift. And you, because you could have still rifted. Like, look, look at these guys. They're doing the same thing. I mean, these guys are also not gliding dead side. Like, they're kind of like, you know, they're doing the in between. And they, you, ideally, you would have just rifted and gone exactly where you are right now. Yeah. So, yeah, I think you just keep going. So, what, my, my thought always is never to show yourself on a hill and if you do show yourself you don't build because this is like the easiest thing for somebody to see that you're down there now right like this guy can tell yeah. you're there this guy could this guy can or this guy can't like there's a lot of people that can now know that you're there so just committing to it also just like unless you're just that guy the f you're just not hitting that snipe out of the sky like there's just no way like <laughs> so just commit to like the fact that you are on dead side and get to a favorable position like you could have definitely have gotten yourself who knows back here and maybe look there's probably this is cash box so you would have got smg and yeah we went back here we just built yeah. wood oh yeah. you guys you guys got this yeah, yeah we got all this cash. okay nice that's what we were scouting for we were <laughs> nice 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 yeah but you, you can see how bad this could have went and i think that yeah, like imagine I... imagine this is a pro team and this is a pro team and this is a pro team which tomorrow I'm not saying you're going to be in all pro lobbies like this it's not going to be all pro lobbies you're going to have these some of these players in the lobbies tomorrow but yeah round four is going to be a bit more punishing on these small things, right? Yeah. Nice. Like that's huge. You hit the headshot. That's free. Also, like if you didn't show yourself here, could have saved 250 wood, you know? And then I know you might you might get it back here in a second, but still, you want to definitely work out all the small errors from some wood here for sure. I mean, you're playing the dead side is just showing to be super strong. As, as, it, as it always is, but um, yes, so yeah. good. Yeah, so so good. Yep. Got your top here. Okay. Could have done the same thing, right? Just 
out the top. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. always I always just like going out the top because you're out the top. You're a little bit more unpredictable, and then here you're just kind of opening to the rest of the lobby. So this works. Let's let's watch as you lead this. My flow barrier. I always like to go like high layers and just stay. Yeah, out. honestly, that's not a bad that's not a bad play at all. Like that, yeah. it, it sucks. You have to tank mats for it, but really like. It's probably worse, way dude. better than being in the water 100 it's way better than doing one of the things where you're just like watch they, they're gonna do this like jump build jump build jump build. like it works out they're, they're both good but when you're going up the gut a little bit and you kind of have to go do something like that you know there's a reason why they're able to do this on the dead side which maybe is something you could have done of course you could have you had this side there um yeah i mean it's fine to be where you are right now from how you started is crazy yeah i just refarmed this building we found heals in that too when you're scouting here, I'm curious, what are you looking for? I was just looking for like I was just looking for um like a place we can get that's like open. Like up, like up layers open. Yeah. So somewhere like up to the left here? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, solid. Oh. Oh my. The kite? That was clean. Yeah. Played height. That's definitely there's there's ways to take height, but I actually do I actually do think that's fine. Like I think yeah. they're like, but you have to be. I want to make sure that you understand that that is not something you can do every game, and you can go for that. Mm -hmm. Like if that opportunity is there, but both be on the same page and be like, all right, look, like what is Toronto? Is that your name? Yeah. All right, look, Toronto. We're we're going like this is the play. If if I'm if, if we get height here, you know we we try to get it. If not, we drop instantly. Like you, it's not something you grieve yourself for. You can't grieve yourself for that. Like just. They they ended up honestly it was what was it Sparebow? Yeah, Sparebow. So credit to Sparebow understanding what was going on and also maybe being a solo. No, Sparebow. Like he's not, but he's also shambles. So you you picked the reason why this worked out so well is Sparebow, in my opinion, is knowledgeable enough to be like, okay, shit. I shouldn't grief my entire game and grief these guys. Cause you easily could have got you could have got blue and ghouls and they literally just would have griefed your entire game. Like like, you know those players exist in this game, like, 100%. Like, half the lobby is probably somebody who, if they were on height, they'd fully grief you just because. Yeah, and, they they just would, and then the next team down here would look up and win the game because they'd just see you guys fighting. So, you got lucky that you got, like, a knowledgeable player in Sparebow. You got, like, a pro or, or an ex-pro or a solid player. He's been around for a while. And you also got lucky that he was pretty shambles. He had looks to be, you know, maybe less than 20 builds between them both. So, those two things uh, played a big part in it, but... That's I mean that's that's Fortnite right? It's you get a ref you get a lucky refresh or you get the lucky height take or like now it's about how how well can you hold it? Definitely you definitely want to connect more than one cone. So I started somebody... connecting in middle, but I didn't realize yeah. it was only held about one cone. I thought the I thought it would be more reinforced. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I was just yeah, trying I mean... to spray kids and like I was just telling him to like connect to something, just anything like he could connect to under us while I was just spraying. Yeah, I dropped yeah. down like later. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I, I think um, when you're here, just making sure your your starting point is always floor cone, and then at least you're connecting multiple pieces to these walls right here. Because like right now, you only have like this didn't really this cone doesn't do much. But also like I'm not saying you're going against pros. I'm, I, I will say this that um, t tomorrow will be harder. Like you cannot make these small mistakes tomorrow because yeah. they yeah. will take advantage of it, even if they're not like a you know tier one pro. If it is a tier one pro, 100, percent I would expect them to take advantage of this see it chop you out fry you maybe kill you to fall maybe you grapple like you, you would just lose it but now you're doing you're doing good he connected yep that's very well solid still though just another just just build the habit of just making that extra wall like this this one wall helps you a lot right here this one put putting one wall here right because yeah. now you're still up by just one you just shoot this out shoot that out Pick one of these weak things, like, like book, boom, boom, boom. Two things. That's easily breakable if they do it quick enough. Obviously, it's metal now, but it's, but it's like, you know, later. But, uh, yeah, just having those extra points. Someone goes back. Also, height here. Um, whenever, whenever it pulls, since this isn't a meta where someone can really get front and take advantage of you, and you also held it pretty well, just... Just slow down a bit, like a couple cone floors and just chill and spray and then chill and spray. And then eventually, like you'll have it, but you don't want to do this. 
This is also massively inefficient, which I'm going to show you a thing called two cone spray. I've mentioned it before. Maybe you guys have heard it, heard it before from me, but um, I'll show you. But this, this is massively inefficient. What I'm, what you're seeing here is not, it's, it's one, it's not giving you the biggest advantage to hold because you're still missing connection points back here. So like you double flooring this, you see how, inv like how unvaluable this is, right? Yeah, yeah. One guy shoots mm -hmm. this, it's gone. And also you're not putting that pressure, which I'll, I will show you with two cone spray, but at a certain point you stop, which is good. Like I, I didn't want you to ideally, ideally you would have, you know, gotten to here or here maybe. Right. And yeah. this isn't too far, but I, I, I don't, I'm glad that you stopped. Like, I'm glad that you're putting that pressure. I see a lot of people, they'll just tarp, 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 and they'll just never end up shooting. But yeah, I heard one simple. of your videos, just never stop spraying, just always make never noise. Never stop spraying. Always yeah. make noise, exactly. If your teammate's not spraying, you gotta tell them to spray while you're building or reloading or whatever. And then, yeah, identifying... Oh, that's tough. Identifying the second height teams, right? Like, also identifying the teams that are maybe not second height right now, but, you know, maybe, I don't know, let's, like, let's say this Moxie guy. Like, he's also in metal. If you have nobody, if you have no idea who to spray, it's this Moxie guy because he's got metal. Like, you wouldn't, you could spray this guy, right? They're the same layer. You know, maybe this guy's technically closer, this ghouls guy. But you want to spray the team that has the hardest mats, right? The hardest mats in the second height is the team you pressure. And this is why you're obviously spraying this ducky team. Yeah, I mean, the unfortunate side of this is if this team cracked you and literally just went back here and saw it was one thing like that is so free that is the time like I, you're you're not getting taken advantage of here which is lucky to say that like yeah man you're 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 missing a lot of connection points for sure i'm not saying you have to full build everything i just i definitely think you should have connected eventually um like probably right now back here yeah, you're right. but i think height works like that like it, as long as you're aware of it, it, it it's okay like if you're like yes we're only up by one in the back zone and you understand that it's weak or you understand you know as long as you get it then at least you won't be caught off in the moment um also i just realized this now i mean i, I kind of knew this from the game but you don't have a grappler so this is a definitely a bit high for no grappler like you're dead you're both yeah dead. I, went, I did go back in flow bay, but it definitely should have been lower or connected yeah 100 yeah, percent. also you can um I mean, yeah, you could have connected right here or you can tarp over and pick a side. Like right now, you can kind of see there's a more of a left side forming than the right side, right? So yeah. you can easily just connect, drop over here, come over here and start playing this side of zone, spraying them from above. Um, or at least just, yeah, kind of playing a little bit lower. More pressure though, more pressure. Connect, 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 connect. You hear some. You're, I can tell you're paranoid. You hear somebody trying to chop you out. No? Yeah, I yeah, I did hear that. Like, connect right now. You feel like that's happening? Connect. You have to. Also, um, I mean, I haven't watched this entire moment of you going on height, but I do want to just drill the thought in of like, if when you have height tomorrow, when you have height in the future, it's it's all about one, always having pressure, like one person spraying at all times, and two. No, don't look for the kills like look to pressure 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 because at a certain point if you do if you successfully pressure in all these previous zones right like or at least at least this previous zone before this right if you successfully pressure then you can start going for kills but because you're kind of going in, in between and you're kind of going for like these tristan and these guys in storm or like you know you're going for somebody like sparebow who's running up here and you're trying to kill him you're probably not going to get the kill most of the times you won't um and also you're delaying the times that you can go down for kills imagine so um, let me explain this in a better way like imagine you only pressure you don't go for kills here you don't even try to shoot anybody in the open running you're just pressuring the second height teams then at this point every team is so pressured and put down and lost you know they're they're running from height basically they're dropping 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 now you can start dropping for kills does that make sense yeah it does so you need yeah. to, you need to focus on pressure first and then you can start. that's why that's why like i guess the easiest way to explain it would be at the end of a, at the end of a game right the final zone You've already put so much pressure down. That's why you always send one person down because there's no, there's no, you you know, you've already sprayed, sprayed them. You know, there's nothing more you can do. You just drop. So that's what I'm saying here. Focus on pressure all this zone and then you can drop for kills and this zone. But now that you haven't done that, you got to still pressure and it just delays your kills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. so that's why you'll see a lot of really, really good high teams. They'll, they'll start fragging out like now. Like if you've ever watched like 
Vino and Queasy. Like, that, they do that ex exceptionally well. They pressure so well, they play height so well in these earlier zones that by the time these final few zones pop, you're seeing Vino drop down and start fragging. Like, we've seen that in the Global Championship. We saw this in, in FNCS Finals. I don't know if you guys if you guys saw that, but that is literally... That's that's what made them so well on height, because every time you'd see them on height, Vino would be fighting you. Yeah. Because their previous pressure was so good. So same like this, like you're just looking for kills in the back here, right? So just focus on pressure. Pressure. Get these, get this Gooch, Gooch Vamos and Jacek. Get this team ghouls and Vlu down. Like get these guys off these layers quick. Not kills. Also, just just because you have the sniper too, low key, that like, it's just a better just go for the snipes, if anything. Like, that's what I would prefer you do. If I was playing with you, right? Just the, the kills are from snipers. Because I've, I've played with Scoped and every time he's in height, he gets a lot of kills with sniper. And I think that's still really easy to do. Because you're pretty close, right? P pretty much point blank. You're going to hit a shot as long as you're tracking on him. All right, so that kill, you pull out your sniper, you try to snipe him. Right? Rather than the fry. Like, you didn't kill him, you just fried him. The pressure on these guys' builds. Now you're putting pretty consistent pressure and it's not like as kill focus, right? They just full screen. Yeah, also, um, just a, a small thing from earlier, like memorizing their skins, like I know they're still in the game, but if you knew this is them, Encrypted and Ducky, these are the guys that sniped you earlier that would try to take height off you earlier. Like, <coughs> memorizing, the, like these, these are very two recognizable skins, like the blue and the yellow skin. Like the, you can't look at this and forget, so. Memorizing the skins, like who sniped you? At least if you have some type of idea, like it's a girl skin. Okay, boom. Like I don't know, like something, 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 something. Or at yeah, least I had like no idea. In the moment, like, like you might not know who sniped you, but then after that, you're like, okay, they were on the left side. So let me look at all the teams on the left side and see if one looks familiar. Like you can start piecing those things together and then focus that team more because they, those are the guys that are smart enough to look for height. That's what I do, especially on height. Like, I'm always looking for that team. If they're looking at me, I see their skin, I, I they go down. That's why... I, I never really do that. Yeah, it's su super, super smart. That's why you'll wear the same skin, right? So they can't... Or you'll wear... That's why you'll wear either the same skin or you'll wear a super common skin, like the fucking... Like the Kuno or like the Ghoul Trooper. I don't know. Like, you know, like the competitive skins. Like, you'll wear, like, the same type of skin. So that way, you know, this skin. Like, everyone... There's probably five people in this game that are wearing this exact same skin, right? Or this skin is a pretty competitive skin, right? So this that, that way, if a team sees you, right, they might think that you're this other team. Does that does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay, right here, like it says, I have 200 AR, but I don't think I had any. I think I had like 10 bullets or something. So that's why I wasn't like spraying okay, okay. as much. Yeah, got gotcha. you. Did you have light ammo though? Yeah, um, I, I see. I, I, yeah, yeah, he, he has. Zero. Yeah, so switch, switch roles here. Hey, give me Matt's all tarp or like split, split mats or drop the pistol. I don't know. Just you need to, you still got to spray just because you're the leader tarping. You still got to put pressure down. Yeah. Same thing. Like the, I know you just looked with your pistol, just pressure. Like you got to put, you got to put something down. You got to spray. Yeah. Yeah. This is shaping up to be what seems to be an easy win. All right now, now just reference to, to the past. Um, I won't say this is 100% why, but just trying to put this thought in your head continuously. Because you didn't pressure as much as you could have, you now have to do something like this, which is not mm -hmm. ideal, right? Ideally, mm -hmm. you're just sitting up here and they've got no mats and you spray them out. Of course, like, you never know. This guy could have got every single kill at the bottom and got 500 siphon mats and then, it, it, like, that's just how it is. But I know you didn't put enough pressure down and so that's why I'm saying this. Yeah. They just go up. Yep. Yeah. I mean, pressure more, definitely. More pressure would have changed yeah. things a lot. Um, I will say, like, like there's a guy in Storm, Iamzo. He he's gonna go for one of the kills. He he just picks you. Like that's just, that's all it was. Like, and I think if again, if you're putting more pressure, and maybe you ended up putting enough pressure in the past zones to get a refresh, or like I don't know, if you had a couple more builds, or if you didn't waste x builds or i don't know there's a lot you could have done to have a little bit more here or you could have pressured this team to have nothing yamzo likely would have just picked the low ground team like imagine this team on low ground is like barely building why would yamzo go try to fight the duo on height you know what i'm saying yeah. um yeah so 
I think also just another another point to this is just staying together. Like I know that's a very basic thing. Everyone says that, but trying to make some type of together togetherness play um, always works. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. I mean, Yamza goes for the play. That's that's exactly what Yamza should do, right? He needs that one kill. He didn't get it. It's all good. This low ground team is also one HP. Like, that was one tick, bro. One tick, yeah. right? One, I one tick. pressured more. We yeah. definitely would have won. I mean, if you didn't get killed by Yamza, you would have won. Yeah, I wasn't aware of the storm flank, which I probably should have been aware of, because I only I didn't really see that many people fighting on low ground. Yeah, that too. That's I was about to mention that. Like, like counting the players. Okay, three teams. Uh, I only see two footsteps. It's probably two. There's a third somewhere. Like, it's so easy to calculate. That is incredibly, incredibly easy to understand in a quick moment. Only two. You're here only two. Let's see the timing here. Oh, I need to go back a second. I want to see what your HP was. So he, he, didn't, he didn't even hit you here. Like, he didn't touch you a single time. And here you go for it. You're 70 white. He pumps you, 60 white. Just look, you're 60 white before you get hit, and they're, yeah, you would have won. Yeah. Just just by playing together, or just by not rushing this kill, because really this didn't mean, this wasn't going to win you the game. Like, you, I don't know if you knew that in the moment, but, like, yeah, there's really no, there's no benefit to killing a Yamsu here. He obviously, yeah. he got the, the best piece of you. Yeah. And yeah, one tick, like, I mean, imagine... Uh, Imagine the Yamzo hits 10 less damage, you would have won the game. Mm -hmm. And and those winning points right there, they matter a ton. Like, you guys got second, so I'm not going to say you're going to be upset about the game, but yeah, you want those, what was it four to six points or something like that, plus the kills? Like, you would have gotten a lot. Um, so, I think the key takeaways from this game are playing dead side is really beneficial and it worked out extremely well for you guys. And then the next thing would be um, so when you send height. I don't, I don't know what the game plan exactly was, but it worked. But also understanding that, like, this is an option play. Like, this is this is the best way I can explain it to you is, like, you tell your teammate, all right, we're going to go for height. If this doesn't work, we're dropping it instantly. You know, if if, if X doesn't work, we do this. If it, it's it's uh, it's the best way I can explain it is the if, the if plan. If this goes like this, then we do this. If this, if that. If this, if that. So if height has, if height fights us, we drop. If height berries up we drop like i don't know you create if plans or in the moment you say okay we're gonna go for it if it doesn't work you know give it fight for it for two seconds and then drop like that's it you just you create a little something that way this doesn't be your full send or die type of situation but it worked right so if you have that in the place that's great if not now you learn to have some type of pre-plan before that um always create like something like as, as a backup plan when you're doing a, a game-changing play like this right this this got you second place or this could have got you 30th place the height take um, and then I'd say the, the, the final few things would be connecting more and understanding when your weak points are, like where your weak points are. Um, that was a big thing that you guys messed up on, just like a lot of scattered cones and low connection points. And when you're going against better players, they're going to take advantage of that. And then I think the last thing would be um, pressure, putting down as much pressure as possible. And, and if you want, and as a side note to that, just memorizing skins of like the teams that do look at height or the teams that are second height, right? Like that mm -hmm. blue skin and that yellow skin, they're pretty clearly there. Yeah. I would say those would be all of the, all the things I have to note. I mean, do you guys have any, any questions or any comments? Not, no, not really. I don't. Not. Okay. Just, cool. I think yeah, we just we just got really lucky that no one tried to like challenge height or like no one yeah. tried that or anything. Yeah, I mean you you got challenged, but I don't know what they did after. Like they they just they just I, didn't want to play height. I they, guess there there really was no reason for them to not try to contest height. You were you got sniped, and you built these walls like this where you were kind of like blocking you from seeing them, which is bad too. Um, I didn't mention that in the moment, but like they they really should have sprayed you out like you weren't up by much it was not it wouldn't have been hard for them to do that and i promise you there's going to be better teams than that on second height layers when you're playing height like you know that wasn't a, that wasn't a, a, the best example of a of a second height team pressuring you but it worked out that's fortnite right it's going to be you're going to get lucky so well yeah. dude i i appreciate you yeah. guys um being so quick on this and submitting submitting footage and um yeah, man, you guys played well today so good luck tomorrow thank you
Thank you. Cool. Alrighty, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, later. Alright, thank you. That was it. Um, a little something quick and easy. Just wanted to help you guys, give you guys an understanding of how they could have won the game. Um, you know, how they can do better in the future. They they qualify for round four, so they're obviously doing pretty decent. But like I mentioned in the video, there's gonna be a lot of better players in the future lobbies and the round four tomorrow and in scrims and grand finals lobbies and they're gonna they need they need to learn these small things because this is really what adds up to being successful at the top of the top um is you know not having those minor mistakes the small mistakes so yeah i'm gonna end it here hope you guys enjoyed until next time see ya